Hello everyone, welcome to my Excel tutorial on calculating over time. In this video, I will show you how to easily set up your spreadsheet to track employees hours and calculate over time using simple formulas. Whether you are an HR professional, a manager or just someone looking to streamline their time tracking process, this guide is for you. Let's dive in and make Excel work for you. In this we have the list of the employees, their time in and time out. And from this time in and time out, we will be first calculating the hours worked. For this purpose, I will write equal and then select the time out minus time in and hit enter. So this has calculated the hours worked, but the format of the cell is not correct. I will use the short key to open the cell format that is control 1. And here under the custom, I will select this hours minute format and hit OK. To calculate the hours work for rest of the employees, I will drag it down. So we have calculated the total hours work for each employee. After this, I will be calculating the overtime. To calculate overtime, I will write equal and then select first the hours work and subtract the normal working hours that is 8. So I will write minus and use the time function. And in the time function, first I have to provide the hours. So because we are assuming 8 hours a day as normal working hours, so I will write 8, 0 for minutes and 0 for the seconds. Close this bracket and hit enter. You can see that we have calculated the overtime that is 2 hours for the first employee. And for the rest of the employee, again, I will drag it down. Now this overtime is in the time format. Like you can see that. For the first employee it is 2 hours and 0 minutes and for the third employee it is 0 hour and 25 minutes. To use it to calculate the overtime pay, first we have to convert this overtime into decimal format. To convert the overtime into decimal format, I will use the hour and minute function. So in the formula bar I will write equal hour and select the overtime cell close this bracket plus minute again select the overtime cell that is E2 close this bracket and divide it on 60 and for all the employees I will drag it down here we can understand the difference between the overtime and its decimal format like in this cell you can see that that is 0 hour and 30 minutes and if we convert it into decimal format then it is 0 0.5 hours so we can use this decimal hours for calculating the overtime pay to calculate the overtime pay i am also setting up a condition that is worker must have to work 30 minutes or more to get the overtime pay if he is not working at least 30 minutes he will not be eligible to get the overtime pay for this purpose I have to provide the conditions and conditions can be set up with the if function. So here I will write equal if bracket start stack this cell and then the condition that if the overtime is more than or equal to 0 0.5 or that is 30 minutes then multiply the overtime with the $15 that is the overtime pay rate. Otherwise, leave this cell empty and close this bracket and press enter. And for all the employees, again I will drag it down. To convert these numbers into the currency format, I am going to select these cells and then I will go to this cell format and select the currency to dollars. You can see that for the 2 hours, it is giving $30 as a overtime. And for the 8 normal working hour, it is not giving any overtime. And for the employee who has worked 25 minutes, that is less than 30 minutes, is not getting any overtime. But for the employee who has worked 30 minutes, at least is getting the overtime $7.5. This is the way you can calculate the overtime for all the employees or you can customize the condition using the if function 
as per your need. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in simplifying your overtime calculation in Excel. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy excelling and see you in the next video.